Hello, Mrs Marlow here. I'm going to read you a poem now by Michael Rosen. It's called Chocolate Cake. I love chocolate cake. And when I was a boy, I loved it even more. Sometimes we used to have it for tea. And mum used to say, if there's any leftover, you can have it to take to school tomorrow to have at playtime. And the next day I would take it to school, wrapped up in tin foil, open it at playtime and sit in the corner of the playground eating it. You know how the icing on top is all shiny and it cracks as you bite into it. And there's that other kind of icing in the middle and it sticks to your hands and you can lick your fingers and lick your lips. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. Anyway, once we had this chocolate cake for tea and later I went to bed. But while I was in bed, I found myself waking up, licking my lips mm, and smiling. I woke up proper. The chocolate cake. It was the first thing I thought of. I could almost see it. So I thought, hmm, what if I go downstairs and have a little nibble, yeah? It was all dark. Everyone was in bed. So it must have been really late. But I got out of bed, crept out of the door. Ooh, there's always a creaky floorboard, isn't there? Past mum and dad's room. Careful not to tread on bits of broken toys or bits of Lego. You know what it's like treading on Lego with your bare feet. Yow! Shh! Downstairs, into the kitchen. Open the cupboard and there it is, all shining. So, I take it out of the cupboard, put it on the table and I see that there's a few crumbs lying about on the plate. So, I lick my finger and run my finger all over the crumbs, scooping them all up and putting them into my mouth. Ooh, nice. Then I look again and on one side where it's been cut, it's all crumbly. So I take the knife and I think I'll just tidy that up a bit. Cut off the crumbly bits, scoop them all up and into my mouth. Ooh, mmm, nice. Look at the cake again. That looks a bit funny now. One side doesn't match the other. I'll just even it up a bit, eh? Take the knife and slice. This time, the knife makes a little cracky noise as it goes through that hard icing on the top. A whole slice this time, into the mouth. Oh, the icing on top and the icing in the middle. Mmm. But now I can't stop myself knife. I just take any old slice at it and I've got this great big chunk and I'm cramming it in. <gasps> How greedy but it's so nice. And there's another and another and I'm squealing Ooh, and I'm smacking my lips and I'm stuffing myself with it and before I know it I've eaten the lot. The whole lot. I look at the plate. It's all gone. Oh no, they're bound to notice, aren't they? A whole chocolate cake just doesn't disappear just like that, does it? Oh, what shall I do? I know, I'll wash the plate up and the knife and I'll put them away and then maybe no one will notice, eh? So I do that and creep, 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 back to bed, into bed, doze off, licking my lips with a lovely feeling in my belly. Mm. So in the morning... I get up, downstairs, have breakfast, and mum's saying, have you got your dinner money? And I say, yes. And don't forget to take some chocolate cake with you. <gasps> I stopped breathing. What's the matter, she says. I normally jump at chocolate cake. I'm still not breathing. And she's looking at me very closely now. She's looking at me just below my mouth. That, she says. What? What? I say. What's that there? She says. Where? There, she says, pointing at my chin. I don't know, I say. It looks like chocolate, she says. It's not chocolate cake, is it? No answer. Is it? 
I don't know what to say. I don't know. She goes to the cupboard. She looks in. Up. Top. Middle. Bottom. Turns back to me. It's gone. It's gone. You haven't eaten it, have you? I don't know. You don't know? You don't know if you've eaten a whole chocolate cake or not? When? When did you eat it? So I told her and she said, well, what could she say? That's the last time I give you any cake to take to school. Now go, get out. No, wait, not till you've washed your dirty face. I went upstairs, looked in the mirror and there it was, just below my mouth chocolate smudge the giveaway maybe she'll forget about it by next week